Hello everyone, I am Surabhi. Welcome to my channel. Today's busy book is for my 6 year old and I have written almost 7 because she is turning 7 in October end. So when you are looking at these activities for your chil uh, child, just think like that, that it's almost 7 year old, you know. Uh, don't expect someone who just turned 6, maybe it's not appropriate for them. Here we are working on the mathematics concepts. We will be working on making big and small numbers where we are mainly focusing on tens, ones and how they operate skip counting, money matters, ascending order, three number operations and reverse counting. So let's start with the first question. Here we are talking about making numbers. So what is the biggest and smallest number you can make using these two digits? Like when the children compare the numbers, when I taught her comparison of the numbers, we tell that you know we check the tenth number first and then we check the ones to see which is a bigger number. The same concept I'm doing it here but like if 2 4 what is the biggest number you can make using these two 42 and what is the smallest number 24 so that is we are starting with a warm-up round then we are going to 4 5 6 now there are three numbers three digits what is the biggest number you can make we have to make sure our hundredth is the biggest number so we make 654 what is the smallest number we have to take the smallest at 100th place. So 456. Now it gets complicated. Like here I have given sequence so it's easy. 6, 1, 5. Now she has to apply the concept which explained that you know in the 100th position should be the biggest number. Then it will be the uh, it will be the biggest number 3 digit number. And when you are making a smallest 3 digit number you have to make sure that the 100th one is the smallest digit of these 3. In the same way once if she gets this concept we are doing this one again there's a brand new concept to her so i don't expect her to do it but just taking the hundredth and tenth and comparison concept to another level that how can we use it going to the next activity they are money matters so again i have drawn some objects and given their cost so we have done these activities in past but like with a less value less complicated numbers here we are going a little higher level that is 10 15 23 so really high you know uh, more complicated when it come to addition and all the question is again simple that you have to find the total cost or the bill amount if you buy a heart if you buy this thing and if you buy this heart with with you know shading what will be the bill so it should be two dollars plus fifteen dollars plus twenty three dollars so uh, if your child is little younger does not deal with such big numbers you can you know make it five dollar and make it three dollar and keep it simple but because she has done these questions and this kind of addition before uh, like simpler one i'm going to take this addition to a higher level again the same it is more complicated i am adding two of these things so 15 plus 15 30 30 plus 10 40 40 plus 2 42 in a way it's very simple addition but just making it a little confusing and making it a more realistic term that when you go for shopping you buy three things you have to add those things in your mind you don't have pen and paper just think in your mind and can you calculate so this is that real life practice kind of scenario which i create in my busy book so that when they go to market you know they get an idea that you know we did it before uh coming to this one ascending auger nothing there again the concept of 100 and uh, 10 that you know when we are comparing ascending uh, smallest number will be the one which has 100th will be the minimum number so it's 100th position is 0 so 59 then you go to like 146 then you go to 245 that concept again here the same thing so if uh, this is a revision concept we have uh, we have done it long back but I just want to see that you know does she remember can she do it that is what is the idea here now we are doing patterns so uh, I call it skip I mean like pattern but it's actually concept of skip counting uh, so in pattern means like you have to see what is the difference like 2 4 6 so what is the gap like it's two gaps so 2 4 6 8 10 so uh, I don't teach them as tables or something like that but i just want them to get used to addition of four addition of five addition of ten so like here she has to add two in everything which will be easy for her this will be complicated because she is not used to add four too much often like 16 and 20 would be easy then 24 28 a little more work for brain 
5, 10, 15, again skip counting by 5 should be easy and 10, 20, 30 it will be easy for her. Just skip counting by 10. Now with this is again, so if in my busy book I do one difficult, one easy, one difficult, one easy activity like that. This was difficult, so this was easy. And now this is easy, so this is difficult. I, you know, maintain a balance in my busy book, not all the difficult questions. So here we are doing three number operations. Uh, they are simple, but it's just, uh, we have done only two number addition till now. Uh, when it goes to, you know, two, like she has done two plus three plus five. These kind of questions she has done, like 40 minus 10 plus eight. This will be a little complicated because we are dealing with double digit. She has never done three number operations with double digit numbers. So that is a new concept for us again. And like this is complicated, 100 plus 20, she has to think in mind 120 minus 40, then removing that. So this is what I'm going to give it to her. And I think I need to help her with these kind of questions. And this one, last one, complete the sequence. Here we are practicing reverse counting. And again, reverse uh, subtraction, you can say, because uh, my girl struggles with them. Uh, like 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. Now, this is simple because it's just you know, subtracting 2. Here, when it goes to double digit numbers, number 250 or number 200, uh, she goofs up. That I see when she's subtracting and like two digit numbers, I see she goofs up. So that's what we are practicing here. 45, 42, 39. So here we are removing three. So 36, 33 and 30. Here we are removing five. So just because it's a bigger number, she usually goofs up. Just thinking that's a big number, she messes up. So that's what we are practicing. Uh, removing five and removing six so these are uh, complicated questions for her but you know that's what these busy books should don't do themselves i sit with them and help with each question so hope you enjoyed this activities see ya bye bye